I should have a disclaimer here, a little warning label on my video. Is it time for your nap? Yes, it's time for your nap. Last year, I started to consider, what if the atheists are right? Who think when you die, you die. This is, this is it. What if it's true? What if it's true? And this is the only shot I have at this life. This is it. If these are the only years that I'm given this miracle, why would I waste any of my time? I cut way back on social media and consuming technology since January 1st, 2024. It's just something I've been thinking about for a little while and something I've noticed when I am on it, I don't feel good. When I get off it, I don't feel good. I decided in 2024, I want to spend more of my time living my life rather than watching other people live their lives or consuming the work of other people. I have some visions for my life that I want to manifest. And everyone knows that if you're not doing the work, on manifesting your visions, these things aren't going to happen. Nothing happens by itself. It's all about the hard work that you put in. All day long, I worked and I worked and I worked. I definitely noticed that I was spending more time on watching other people's work than doing my own work. How much further along would I be if four years ago I committed to not looking at technology for those four years? I'd have so many more videos under my belt and artwork hanging on my walls. Um, I might even be earning an income from this by now. And I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to entertain ourselves, to live sometimes in this fantasy world. I think that's normal. I think it's normal for humans to want to live in this imaginative place. Humans have always had storytellers, had artists as a part of the community. I think we come by it very honestly, this desire to disconnect from reality and drop into fantasy. Whatever, you want to escape for a little while, that's fine. It's nice to have something that you enjoy watching. It's nice to have YouTube channels and videos that you enjoy watching and there's nothing wrong with that. You know the difference of when you are avoiding life and when you are just relaxing for a little bit. You know how the difference, how it feels in your body. You know when you're doing it. I figure it's better to force myself to sit here and look out the window than touch social media in a way that is to escape reality. An hour spent sitting here doing nothing, looking out my window, even though I don't do anything, I'm just looking out the window, watching some squirrels, compared to spending one hour on Instagram or watching Netflix. I know at the end of that hour, I'm going to feel so much better if I'd spend it looking out the window than consuming technology. And I've done it. I can tell you for a fact, it's true. Even though I was feeling bored, I would just sit. Sit and do nothing. Looking out the window is hard <laughs> compared to scrolling through Instagram. It is way more difficult to sit there by yourself with your own thoughts, looking out the window. When you turn off the noise, your brain will react. Whatever your head is gonna tell you, it's gonna tell you some things that maybe you didn't wanna hear. Better to hear it than to suppress it and deal with it. Getting bored is where the light is. It is the first step to start illuminating the path you need to be on to start illuminating your journey. And unless you turn that noise off and take time by yourself 
in silence, that light is going to be very dim if it lights, if there is a light at all. When one is bored or overwhelmed or tired or whatever, whatever, feeling whatever feelings, and instead of just relaxing and taking a break, because I think often that's what our body needs. When we just get this overwhelmed feeling, we need to take a break and have some quiet, have a nap. Have a nap. How often did you really need a nap? Instead, you spent an hour scrolling through YouTube shorts. By doing that, we are just avoiding what we actually need to be doing, what is best for ourselves. We're just avoiding it. We're just pushing it off to another day. That's normal. That's the human condition to escape reality when things don't feel good. That's why so many people are addicted to so many things. And the longer you sit with it, without avoiding those painful feelings. It's magical. Ideas will come to you, visions will come to you. You'll have an inspiration. It might start off as, I should clean the bathroom. Well, they think, so what? That's not gonna change my life. But you're gonna feel really good while you're cleaning the bathroom, and you're gonna feel good after you clean that bathroom. And then another little idea will come. It'll just, it'll just it sort of snowballs the longer you put that aside. So I say, let's take our lives back. I'm gonna take my life back. Why does Mark Zuckerberg have more say over my time than I do? Let's take our lives back from these billionaires marketing to us. And now we're really lucky because if we decide to only use social media, only use technology um, in a way that serves us, and we spend the rest of the time living our real life, we have the best of both worlds. We have the best. I am making the effort, starting this year, 2024, to live my life, live my life. And when it's horrible and feels painful, I'm gonna have some compassion on myself. If I do find myself looking at social media too long, just remember, okay, Lisa, this is why you're feeling kind of crappy right now. You were watching too much social media, put it away. So I'm gonna go, go back to my art studio, keep making some more art. Look out that window. Look out that window, get bored. Hopefully I'll see you again, bye.